it, st it starts out like this. You feel empty and numb for a week, but you're convinced he'll be in love with you eventually, in a year, in two years, when? Then you have a nightmare, you're freezing and weak, and your chest hurts. A woman feeds you, and somehow you manage to get to the coffee, and then cops attack you because you're an elf, and you feel weak, so you lay there, surrendering. And the surrender is this beautiful peace. And then you wake up in the early morning, feeling the same freezing and weakness, curled up in a ball. It's real. It's painful. It calls you to sleep. And then I felt agonizing body pains, my twins pain, my legs ache, and I'm weak, like a mess. But it isn't a mess. It's completely different, elvish heartbreak. It's elvish heartbreak for my twin. I hold on to it and cherish it like an elf I met in a hospital. I saw hypothermia in her face, redness. I was the only one who saw it, and I sensed that she saw it in me. When it goes away, she wonders if she is still in love with her soulmate and misses the pain. So let God heal you. It comes back sometimes to force my soulmate and me to be together. Him visible, talking to me, texting me, talking to me out loud so I can see him. God wants us to be together, me and my soulmate, like we were for a trillion years. We were best friends, twins, soulmates, husband and wife. Sometimes we lose our poetic thoughts, and then we talk telepathically, but we know that isn't enough. We need to write each other letters, text each other, read each other's blogs, take pictures of each other, love each other, hug, and just look into each other's eyes and know, oh my god, we're meant to be. The freezing coldness is an ache in my heart as it pounds, reminding me that I am still alive. I was so cold that I was paralyzed, and I got up and stumbled, stumbled around, walking, knowing I was right. The paralyzed can walk. Even if you don't feel your legs, you can walk. And then God healed me, as he always does. My heart yearns to see my twin again. I gazed at a picture of him and sent him messages. I just hope he sees my love for him in my eyes in this video. We yearn for each other, separated and yet eternally united at the same time. Missing him manifests physically, and I am moved. My heart stirs to show him love. Just like he non-verbally does for me. My head throbs, my heart beats, my soul is crying. I am a hippie, a peacemaker, a peacekeeper, a daughter of God. We sing and dance and I feel just like him, my twin. And I know that yes, he is here, my twin, finally in love with me, invisible, in front of me, possessing me, making me feel like him. Drinking coffee together, smoking ganja together, as we always have, as we always have. Knowing it's a gift from God, that we're meant to have it.